This is Jane from EticMag.com. I'm with Joseph Bayo, the Senior Vice President of Wildenstein Gallery, who's going to talk to us a bit about Monet and give us a little sketch of what you would see in this show and just a little bit about it, please. Uh, this is a painting that uh, was done at the beginning of Monet's career in 1869. Uh, it belongs to the J. Paul Getty Museum, and it depicts an a still life of flowers and fruit uh, that he painted uh, when he and uh, Renoir were, were working together. And as a matter of fact, each of them painted the same motif. The, the Renoir painting is in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. And this picture we sold to the J. Paul Getty Museum years ago. And when the conservator came and opened the case and she asked me, she said, did you know there's another picture underneath this? And I said, what? And she said, yes, the, the, there's another painting under here. We x-rayed it and there's a landscape under it. And did so, she indicate which part of the painting had the landscape? Would it be the uh, whole thing? I think it was the entire canvas. Wow. And so I've asked her to send me a photograph of it. I would have reproduced it in our catalog had I known about it. But uh, when we had the picture, we never x-rayed it. And so there is another picture under here, uh, which I was fascinated to learn about. That's very, very fascinating. And what were these um, flowers? I noticed in his letters downstairs, where you reproduced them, that he mentioned to his uh, companion to check on the dahlias. Could he, she take care of those? So he had a love of flowers, did oh, he not? Oh, from the time he was very young. I mean, he was a, a, a born horticulturalist. And, I mean, he, and he just, when he goes to Giverny, he goes absolutely insane and builds that garden up into something absolutely sumptuous. And that's when he creates the Japanese garden. He had many gardeners working for him. Mm -hmm. He was very wealthy by the time, by that time. Although, by the time he was doing this, he was a starving artist. Right. But much later, uh, he becomes extremely wealthy and very famous. And he even has a Japanese gardener who helps ah. him design, design the uh, water lily pond and but here we're very early in his career much later after this was painted he sent this to the fourth impressionist exhibition because the impressions were not beloved in their own time mm -hmm. it, it took a long time for people for the for for the public to get accustomed to this new type of painting and so Monet uh, sent this to the fourth impressionist exhibition Thank you so very much for talking to us today. You're very welcome.